All right, so exporting your LODs out as a single FBX from Blender to Unreal is pretty easy once you know how to do it. It's just not exactly a user-friendly process, or it's not intuitive at least. So all you really need to do is you need to create an empty and you need to add a custom property. And that custom property needs to be of type string, property name fbx underscore type. It needs to have the value of LOD group. And fbx type, that needs to all be lowercase. And LOD group has capital L and a capital G. And as far as I'm aware, that does in fact matter. So if you just click new, you'll get like a prop with a value of one. You need to change the type to string. Change the name, FBX type, LOD group. And the default value never really sets the value here. So LOD group. And there, and once you have an empty with this custom property, and I have another one over here, exactly the same, you just parent whatever objects you want to that empty. So like here I have these, and just going to, how do you clear parents? Salt P. Yeah. So you clear them, you select them, select the empty, control P, set parent object, and there you go. And then you can export that out, import it to Unreal. I'm just going to delete this real quick and go find my FBX. Or actually, I need to show the export process. That's my bad. There's something you need to be aware of when you're exporting this. Export. FBX. You want to make sure you're exporting. You want to make sure you have custom properties checked. If you don't export with custom properties checked, it uh, definitely is not going to work. So that's pretty important. And then you can just export that out. And now that I have the new FBX, I'm going to drag that into Unreal. And in Unreal, you want to make sure you have import mesh LODs selected. This is, I believe, in at least in UE5 under the Advanced tab. So bring out Advanced, Import Mesh LODs, click Import All, and you will end up with a nice little FBX where everything is linked. And if you go to your LOD picker, you can pick your LODs. Pretty straightforward. And uh, you can pretty much tell it worked if when you import your FBX, it looks like you only see one model. Because in the Blender scene, it looks like this. And if you don't do these steps and they don't work, this is what it'll look like. And you won't have your LODs. And as for the LOD order, that doesn't have anything to do with the name doesn't have anything to do with their position and the hierarchy here. All that matters is when you created the object. Whatever you created, I believe it's first. Maybe I'm wrong, but I believe it's whatever object was created first will be LOD1. It might be the opposite. I really can't remember, but you know, and it's like, that's kind of annoying, 
But the way you can get around that, if like, you know, you didn't create your objects in perfect LOD order, is you can just duplicate it, and that that new duplicate counts as new. And so, you know, if you mess up your order, you can just go in and duplicate LOD zero, one, two, and three, and delete the old ones, put the duplicates that you created in the order you want then export it to Unreal. It's kind of a it's kind of a fussy little system, but it does work. You know, I I have this group here where I name them all out super nicely, but that just does not matter. Unreal does not care. All that matters is when you created the object. So just recap what matters is this custom property on an empty it needs to be a type string that's new in Blender 3.0. Older versions, you it's a little simpler, and I have an old video about that. FBX type, LOD group, just make sure it has that. So, you know, make sure when you export the FBX, you have custom properties ticked because that custom property is exactly what we need. Without that, it just will not work. And when you import into Unreal, make sure you check import LODs. And that's it. That's all, that's all you have to do. And this will make it way less annoying ultimately, at least I think so, rather than importing your mesh and then importing every LOD as an individual mesh, which is the only other way I'm aware of to actually do this. So I hope that helps, you know.